If you receive direct messages on Facebook or Instagram or other social media platforms and you know, just like I do, that those conversations fall through the cracks because those social media platforms don't provide any sort of follow-up system or CRM system, I have a hack for you for if you use follow boss. So I'm going to share my screen and walk you through what we use. So I'm just going to pull up Instagram and pull up a chat. Let's just pretend that I got a chat from Chris, who's actually my husband, but I didn't want to show a real chat. And let's pretend that I had a good conversation with Chris who reached out to me about buying a home, but I want to ensure that Chris doesn't fall through the cracks. And there may be a few uh, scenarios. Maybe you got Chris's email and phone number. Maybe you didn't. Either way, I highly recommend adding Chris's Instagram to his CRM profile because we know that Chris is active in Instagram and Instagram is just another way to reach him. Just like you can reach Chris through email and phone, consider Instagram another way to message him and reach him. It's just another contact um, communication platform. So me and my husband were just sending each other funny videos, but did you know that each conversation you have with someone online on Instagram or Facebook, for example, each conversation has its own unique URL in the top web browser URL. So what I highly recommend doing is either having yourself or an assistant or virtual assistant anytime or every day, once a day, I have a virtual assistant this for me, log into Instagram, log into Facebook, and either add the person to follow up boss, or if they already exist in follow up boss, add the um, direct message link. So first go to admin, go to custom fields, and you'll uh, create a custom field. I call mine FB slash IG conversation link. And look at this, we have 440 people here that we're now tracking that we would have missed. And I'm just curious here, how many people have turned into clients? So we have five that are active clients. Whoops, wrong stage. Look at this, 126 clients from Facebook or Instagram. We would have missed 126 people. And this is only something that we implemented this year in 2024. So I'm kicking myself in the foot that I didn't do this sooner or think of this sooner, but I'm glad we're doing it now. So going back to follow up boss, this is something you can only do in the owner account login. Go to admin custom fields. You're going to add a custom field, call it whatever you would like. Like I said, I called mine Facebook IG conversation link. Make it a text field and then add field. I'm not gonna add it because I already have it. I think I already have a Chris P in my follow boss account, so I'm not going to add another one. And then you should have a you should have that in follow boss now. I have it here. I forgot to mention you can rearrange the custom fields in follow boss. So after you create it, it's most likely at the bottom here, which I don't need that one anymore. Side note, so it's the most likely at the bottom. If you scroll down, you can click and drag the order. So I clicked and dragged mine to be the third from, or the fourth from the top. So it's at the fourth of the top and I'm going to paste the link here, but do more than that, set a follow-up. If uh, follow up via messenger, whatever it is, or if you're like me, use smart lists. And uh, when I go to the smart list, I call text, email, and message on Facebook or Instagram in this case. And we've, like I said, we've gotten clients that won't respond or haven't given us an email or a phone number, but we did have a way to reach them on Instagram and Facebook. And we followed up with them on those channels and turned them into a client. And more and more people, especially with the younger generations, they are using these platforms to communicate and they're checking them more often than their email or sometimes their phone. Uh, I ignore text messages from 
from people sometimes, but I'll, I'll check Instagram and I see I have a message in Instagram and I get excited. I'm like, Ooh, who's messaging me on Instagram? Anyway, that's the first hack. Oh, and then once you link to that, uh, conversation, when you're ready to message the person on Instagram, you just click the link on follow boss and it opens up the conversation straight from the link. Now take it a step further. If you're like me and you use drip campaigns, create a drip campaign that um, is for Facebook. So I did just that. I created a fa Facebook Messenger follow-up plan and I put the message that I want to send in a note. And that note says what the message sends. Now I do have a note for my virtual assistant to say only send this message, which is sent manually. If we haven't spoken to this person in the past week in follow up boss or on Facebook, or if we don't already have a time frame of when they're looking to work with us. Otherwise she waits another week or so. And you can see here that this drip campaign runs for quite some time uh, because there is money in the follow-up. So not only are we using email drip campaigns if we have an email, not only are we using text drip campaigns if we have a phone number through third-party texting platform. We personally use Texting Betty, but you can also use Lead Engage or um, Street Text. Um, not only are we calling through a smart list, but we're also doing this Facebook Messenger follow-up. And when these notes get added in the action plan, we get fancy with it. We add a tag every 14 days that says FB message one, FB message two, FB message three, because I don't like tasks and tasks pile on quickly. Instead, we have a Facebook Messenger smart list. So if you go to the people screen, let me try to find it. Jessica Facebook messages. I've created a filter to search for anyone who has any of those Facebook message tags, FB message one, two, three, four through 23 with the last communication more than 30 days ago. So if someone's been talked to recently and follow up boss through call, text, or email, they're not going to show up on this list. Um, and they still need to be staged one of these stages. Otherwise they're staged as trash or contact, meaning not interested or they're a client already. So only prompting Jessica to message people that have not been talked to recently um, or are still in a nurture or a not reached stage. Um, then once she sends the Facebook message, all she needs to do to remove them from the list is log a fake call that the Facebook message was sent and then removes the tag whatever it is that was automatically added, whether she's removing the FB message one tag or the FB message two tag. Now you can create the action plan that adds a task instead, but if you're like me and you don't like task pile them up really quickly and you like smart lists, Jessica just logs in the follow boss and goes through the smart list really quickly. So that's it. That's a quick hack for ensuring that your Facebook and Instagram chats and direct messages don't fall through the cracks and you don't lose opportunities. Like I just showed you, it just with implementing this in the past eight months, we've gained 126 clients that we would have otherwise missed had we not been tracking those conversations and done follow-up with them.